Hey everybody. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. If anybody's out there watching, having some problem problems with the uh, Warrior Land Four. For some reason, YouTube does not like episode thirteen. It keeps saying transient error. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to pop it into like Movie Maker and then save it as a different type of file and then uh... we'll see if it works I also finished uh... all the videos for an Earthworm Jim playthrough it went pretty good I don't know I've got two options now uh... joypad only I can go, um, huh, they play that before Metal Gear Solid, also. Uh, I'm either going to do this game, or I'm going to do the uh, Final Fantasy VII NES port by the Chinese company and do a side-by-side -side comparison. I might do them both at the same time, I don't know. This is uh, Snatcher. It's dedicated to all the cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. It's a little, uh... June 6th, 1996. I'll turn up the sound. Hope you can hear that. Destroyed 80% of the populace. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? Huh. I wonder what that could be. 50 years later, mankind faces its greatest crisis. The appearance of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps an invasion from some other world? They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine. They're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as Snatchers. Uh-oh, Snatchers. And they got mouth lasers. There's no way you could compete with that. Come on. Hopefully you guys heard that awesome intro. This is a Snatcher for the Sega CD. I never had the opportunity to really play it. I'm going to fool around with it. Uh, it's actually made by Hideo Kojima, the creator of the Metal Gear series, and uh, I believe he also created the Boktai series for the Game Boy Advance. It's a throwback to the old uh, text adventures, kind of, like Deja Vu. Hey, that is Japan. How about that? Excellent voice acting. Well, at least the intro. Look at that. December 2047, Neo Kobe City. It's kind of weird. 47 is my lucky number. I love the uh, cyberpunk futuristic feel of this game. It's very awesome. Music's badass, too. Jillian Seed makes an appearance in Metal Gear Acid. M Metal Gear uh, 2K, I think is his name. He uh, also makes an appearance in Metal Gear Acid. Look at that. That's the city I want to live in. This is Jamie Seed, Jillian Seed's wife. Kind of reminds me of it. Cowboy Bebop, actually.
Katrina Gibson. Oh, look at that. That's badass. We're knife fighting. Also reminds me a bit of Ghost in the Shell. Creator Hideo Kojima. I think I'm sure it's pronounced Hideo Kojima. Kojima san, onegashimas. Toborekato. Oh, that was the uh, Jeremy Blostein. That was the name in the newspaper in the first cutscene. How about that? It was like uh, NYPD Blue Future. Okay, it's nothing like that. Uh-oh, some nepotism there. Produced by Konami Company. LTD. How was work? Everything okay? Gillian, mm. what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! Perhaps he's a snatcher? What the hell is he saying? I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! car is kind of shitty for a future car. Gillian Seed, estimated age. Oh, Gillian. Three years ago, he and his wife, Jamie Seed, are taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia. Their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia, lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a junker, effective today. Gillian Seed. I believe he's voiced by the guy who does the voice of uh, Lupin the Third, and uh, he also does another voice. I just can't put my finger on it. Okay. The turbo cycle will take us to uh, Konami Omni Building. Junker HQ. In the future, the year two thousand. Act one, snatch. I like where this is going. Oh, there's Micah, our first character we meet. Well, we got three commands, enter, look, and investigate. But that's for another time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please rate five stars and subscribe. Hope you were able to hear the uh, voiceover actors. It was very, uh, very good. Until next time, I'm Chris. Later.